Good morning children. How are you today? I hope you are all fine and God is keeping you safe. I'm fine. My name is teacher Naomi and I love the Lord. We thank God for this morning that is given unto us so that we can come together and learn about God, learn something from the Bible. Let's all start with a word of prayer. When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I bow my head, I close my eyes and I'm ready to pray. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you for all these young children who are here to listen to your word, Father. We ask you to speak to each one of them, Lord. We ask you to bless them together with their families. We pray this, believing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and all the children say, Amen. So, for the past few weeks, we've been learning from the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible, and it tells us many stories of the beginning, how God formed the earth and everything on the earth, how Adam and Eve were created, and also they sinned and sent out of the Garden of Eden. Do you remember all that? Yes, and all this comes from the Bible. All these wonderful stories come from the Bible. So even today, we are going to learn from Genesis. We continue with the stories from the book of Genesis. And today, we learn from Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 6. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 6. And it's on the story of Abraham. But we, before we do today's story, can we remind ourselves what we learned last Sunday? Last Sunday, it was on the call of Abraham. And we saw how obedient and faithful Abraham was to God. Abraham was told by God to leave his land where he lived and go to a land far, far away where he did know. He walked for so many days until he reached the promised land. And this land was called Canaan. So our topic today is on the birth of Isaac. Let's see how God was faithful to bless Abraham, who was obedient to him. Now, Abraham stayed in Canaan for a long, long time until he became an old man, very old man. Do you know how old men look like? Their hair turned gray. They have gray beard. And their body is not very strong. It's called frail. So when they walk, they support themselves with a stick and they shake while walking. They shake while walking. So Abraham and his wife Sarah had become old people like Shosho and Guka. They were even older than your Shosho and your Guka. But Abraham and Sarah didn't have a child of their own. They were just leaving the two of them without a child. Can you imagine two old people without a child? Now, one day when Abraham was 99 years, that's a very old man. Abraham was 99 years. God spoke to him and told him, Abraham, if you obey me and do what is always right, I will give you as many children as the stars in the sky. Can you imagine? Many children as the stars in the sky. Only if Abraham does what? Obeys God and does what is right. God continued to tell him, Abraham, I will also make you a father of many Nations, I will also make you a father of many nations, and some of your children will even become kings. <gasps> Do you know who a king is? First of all, a nation is like a country. Kenya is a nation, Uganda is a nation. So Abraham was to be made a father of many countries, and in these nations, some of Abraham's children will become kings and one of them is like king david isn't it so god was faithful 
What is telling Abraham, if you obey my command and do what is right, I will make you a father of many children. And your children will be as many as the stars in the sky. And secondly, I will make you a father of many nations. But now Abraham wondered, how will this happen if I don't have a child of my own? But God told him, next year, a time like this, you and Sarah will have a child. And God was faithful when Abraham was a hundred years. Aguka of a hundred years. And Sarah was equally old. They got a baby. They got a bouncing baby boy. And they called this boy Isaac. Do you know what Isaac means? Isaac means laughter. Because Sarah and Abraham said when people will see them, they will laugh. <laughs> Wondering who? Two old people with a baby. But them, they will be happy because God had kept his promise and given them a child. So you see, out of Isaac, Abraham was to become do we remember? Abraham was to become a father of many children, as many as the stars in the sky. And he was also to become a father of many nations. And that's why we sing, Father Abraham had many sons, many sons of Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you, so let us praise the Lord. All this was to the glory of God. So I'll ask us a few questions and see how much we have understood. Now, what was God's promise to Abraham? What was God's promise to Abraham? God told Abraham if he obeyed him and did what is right, he would give him as many children as the stars in the sky. And he will also make him father of many nations. If he obeys him and does what is right, he will give him as many children as the stars in the sky. And he will also make him father of many nations. What is the name of the child of Abraham and Sarah? What is the name of the child of Abraham and Sarah? Good, he was called Isaac. The child of Abraham and Sarah was called Isaac. And now the last question. Where did our lesson come from? Where did our lesson come from? Our lesson came from the Bible. Our lesson came from the Bible, from the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible. Very good. And now we'll do our memory verse. Our memory verse is from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. It says, nothing is impossible for God. It says nothing is impossible for God. Luke mm -hmm. chapter 1 verse 37. It says nothing is impossible for God. So children, we've seen how obedience can lead to blessings. Abraham was obedient and he was blessed with baby Isaac. And from Isaac, he became a father of many nations. You and I are all children of Abraham, isn't it? Yes. So even you, be obedient to your parents, to your teachers and all elders around you and also be obedient to God and this will lead to blessings. So let's end with a word of prayer. When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I bow my head 
I close my eyes and I'm ready to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the lesson of today, Lord. We've seen that obedience leads to blessings, Father. And we ask you to teach us to be obedient children so that we may receive your blessing. We ask you for a blessed week and we praise you and glorify your holy name. We pray this believing in the name of Jesus Christ and all the children say, Amen. So children, till we meet again, be obedient children and God bless you. Bye-bye.